Hey guys, it's Seeker, and today we are starting a brand new series called Treasure Hunting at the Thrift Shop. And what we're going to be doing is using these camera glasses. Yes, they're not going to be sneaky, hide-and-seek, I'm-a-spy camera glasses, because if you look at them, you can see the camera. But we are going to be using them, and we're going to record going to different thrift shops, antique malls, and things like that, and looking for treasures. Uh, so it may not be coins, it could be silver that we find and you know, the flatware section. It could be all sorts of stuff. A couple of things to note though, and this is going to be a longer than normal opening video, so bear with me. Uh, a couple of things. My first time doing this. So, first thing is, I realize now, after watching all the video back, that the camera was too high on my face and I was unable to use some of the footage because the item that I was looking at was below the camera. And that's my fault. I need to know to look down a little bit better. The second thing that I learned is that I need to stop moving my head so much. So there's a little bit of movement when I'm looking around. It might be a little bleh, but I did my best to cut out the really bad parts and edit it so it doesn't look so bad. But in the future, I know to keep my head still. Third thing, at the end of this video, I first used these at a coin show and... I didn't really want to go up to the tables because honestly, I don't believe that coin dealers with all of their stuff want to be recorded and be on camera and put on the internet. And so I respected that. But what I did do is I put them on and I just kind of walked around and looked at the show floor in general. And uh, I'm going to put that at the end of the video as bonus footage since I didn't think making a full video with that was worthwhile just because of what little there was to use. So there we go, guys. That is what we're going to do. So welcome to the first episode of Treasure Hunting at the Thrift Shop. So as I first walked into this Goodwill, I saw this right off the bat. At first, I thought it was just a monitor, although a nice size monitor. And then I noticed the Core i5 sticker on it and realized this was an all-in-one PC. Very, very nice PC for just 40 bucks. I definitely picked it up after I tested it and saw it worked. Okay, heading on over into the actual store now that I got that out of the way. We are walking right past all the clothing, as you're used to seeing when you walk into a Goodwill. And over here, we found our Christmas stuff. So there's, you know, aisles and aisles of Christmas stuff. You can tell it's that time of year. They're putting it all out from the back because they want to get rid of it when they have a chance to at this time of year, which I don't blame them at all. Over here on the other one, we got a bunch more Christmas stuff. You see you got some ornaments and things like that up at the top. Very, very cool. Alrighty, over into the small electronics, you got yourself some Christmas lights. There's a few more monitors down here. I kind of noticed this one. It's a square form factor, not something I was really interested in keeping, so I just passed on it. Continuing on, we have ourselves a laser jet uh, toner. We have a Netgear WebSafe wired router. And below, we have ourselves a D-Link wired router as well. Nothing I really need for my network, so I passed on those as well. But still cool to see. Right here, we have an old-fashioned typewriter, opened it up, and I just thought it was pretty cool. I almost didn't use this footage just because of where it was in the shop, but it's just such a neat thing, and they're kind of cool to see. Uh, here are some Harman Kardon PC speakers. I believe they wanted $6 for those. I kind of wanted them, but I didn't really need them, so I didn't pick those up either. Up top, we have a lava lamp. All right, moving on, we have more knickknacks and miscellaneous things around the store. Just eyeballing a bunch of them. We got ourselves a flashlight here. I didn't think it worked, and I almost didn't keep that in the footage because, again, it was too low, as I explained earlier. On this side, we have a bunch of other miscellaneous knickknacks and creepy dolls, glass, and other things like that. Nothing I really needed. Flipping over to this side, I did see one of those generic virtual reality headsets that you plug your phone in. Not something I want. Uh, some other stuff like a puzzle with marble characters on it. And actually, this was right before I found out that Stan Lee died. At the other end of the toy aisle, up top I noticed this monster truck. But down below, this Lost in Space Future Smith. Kind of creepy. Put that back. We got Rock Band 2 and Rock Band Beatles over here in the media section. And a couple of copies of Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, and Grand Theft Auto 3 above. I looked at the back of the disc for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, but it was beat up, so I just passed on it. Down here in the DVDs, I did notice this. It was a copy of Deal or No Deal uh, DVD game. I don't think I'd ever use it. Why even get it? 
but a bunch of other DVDs down there as well. Cool stuff. Before I left, I thought I would hit that jewelry section at the front of the store that the PC was sitting on top of since I didn't look at it earlier. It's a bunch of junk jewelry. I had to make sure that my reflection wasn't showing in the mirror there because, you know, it probably is somewhere. But a lot of neat stuff, cool stuff. You know, nothing really worth noting, though. Just miscellaneous junk jewelry that I don't believe anyone's ever going to buy, but it's in there. It's probably the same stuff that's been there for a year. So on the way to the next thrift shop, I saw this antique mall, so I thought I would take a look around in there. We got this really cool old Sprite can, and you got an old Pepsi can right here as well. You can even see they have the old tabs at the top, kind of interesting. And then really here, this this I thought was really neat because I remember these when I was a kid. It's that really that neon Pepsi can, which I thought was really cool back then. It still kind of looks cool now, but I don't know. I thought it was really neat. And then we have a vintage Dr. Pepper can there as well. I don't even know what she was selling those for, but... They were really cool to look at. You can see that they have some old Pepsi bottles and things like that in this stand. The entire booth was 25% off. Just a lot of cool old knickknacks. I mean, just typical antique mall stuff, but fun to look at now and then. Whenever you're bored, get out to an antique mall and just look at some of this stuff. It's just really cool. I enjoy it. Well, I had to stop right here because I noticed some Paul and Snacks special, specifically Paul. That is a wooden train whistle. I almost picked it up just to use on the stream. Now that I'm here looking at it again, I kind of wish I would have got it, but I put it back. Maybe I'll go back and get that. Just cool. It was only two bucks. We got some copper candle holders. I put those back really quick after I flipped them over and saw the green bottom. So nothing in there. And I was just looking at some other knickknacks. I mean, a lot of cool stuff on this one as well. Oh look, a CD DVD label maker. And we have some Iraqi most wanted playing cards. I assume this was from the first Iraqi war in the 90s. Uh, but, you know, just neat. It was $8 for the whole deck. It was unopened. I didn't know what the pictures were. Uh, and to be honest, I haven't even looked it up now that I'm back doing this on my PC. But I thought they were really cool. And then here we have some Harry Johnson beer cans. Anheuser-Busch. Okay. Over here we have a really cool Wolf Wilson's Famous Box. I didn't want that. And right here, guys, I thought this was really cool. That's an old McDonald's plate from 1977. Uh, you can see it says uh, Ronald McDonald saves this hot summer day. Uh, they were $2 a piece or 6 for a set of 4 uh, I thought they were really cool, just you know, childhood memory type things. Even though that's a little bit before my time, I still remember seeing plates like that. And then right here, you have this really creepy Dennis the Menace doll. I picked that up, I put it back down, and I was, I was done. Now we're in a Salvation Army, and this is an old Yahtzee game. I almost picked that up because my wife really likes Yahtzee, but it was five bucks. Here's their Christmas tables. Rather than, you know, replace what's on the shelves, they just put tables in the center and just loaded them with all their Christmas stuff. And I noticed this widescreen TV as well. Definitely a little bit older. You can just tell by how thick it is. But this is as they were starting to thin out. I looked at it for a second, but not really anything I thought I would use. And then you have this really cool hand-painted like bread box right there, which was neat as well. But, you know, nothing I'm interested in. Over here at the electronics section, uh, we got ourselves a cable. We got a whole bunch of keyboards. I honestly I should have bought a keyboard for that PC that I picked up at the Goodwill. But I did not. I just looked at a few of them. That Dell one right there was heavily used, so I passed on it. And then down here, we did have one in a box. It was one of those uh, those touch keyboards from HP. The cordless touch keyboard wasn't anything that I really wanted. And you know, old cordless technology or wireless technology isn't the best. It's a lot better now than it was back then. You know, ten years ago or so. This is one of those Blu-ray players that were Wi-Fi connected and you could watch Netflix and things like that on. I thought it was kind of cool, but it was a little overpriced, honestly. So I I passed on it. Plus it was as is, so if it didn't work, couldn't even bring it back. We have ourselves some Jack Daniels playing cards. I'm really kind of disappointed with those. I found some more playing cards over there, but those Jack Daniels playing cards, uh, I opened them up and went through them, and unfortunately the footage was too high and you couldn't even see me going through them but there were some other playing cards over here in the board game section 
uh, you know, nothing really that I wanted. Look here, though, a huge box of Lincoln Logs. I almost bought those just because I remember those as a kid. Alrighty, guys. Well, we only got two things today, but both I think are pretty awesome. First, this is really cool. This is a all-in-one HP. It's an HP Compact Elite 8300. Uh, this has a Core i5-3470 in it with 8 gigs of RAM, a 500 gig hard drive. And guys, it is flawless. I could not believe this was only $40. Picking that up was a steal. Even refurbished, these things go for around $350 online. I was stoked to get it. It's got the Core i5 sticker down there and everything. And I just, I can't believe how flawless this is. This thing actually had company files on it. I'm not going to say which company because I don't want to get anyone in trouble. I formatted it completely. It is wiped clean, so... I'm not. I'm gonna respect their privacy, and I didn't look at anything. I just formatted it up. Plus, to be honest, I didn't have their password, and I didn't feel like cracking it. But uh, we got we got it on my workbench, guys. This is the bench that I use to restore old PCs. Something else that I do in my spare time, which I don't have much of anymore. But you know, I still enjoy the hobby. The other thing we got, guys, is this. This is awesome. It's a Microsoft steering wheel. This is the official Microsoft steering wheel for the Xbox 360. It has all the hookups for it. I haven't tested it yet but it was only five bucks. And I really like this steering wheel because it has a really good feel to it. And these actually have force feedback, which means when you hit a wall or hit another car, you actually feel the steering wheel jerk back like you would if you were really driving. So I was excited to pick that up because it can be used on PC. And uh, you know, for five bucks, I figured I'd give it a shot. It probably does work, but I haven't tested it yet. But again, for $5, I'll give it a shot. Alrighty guys, well, that's the end of the video. Uh, keep watching for the bonus footage that I talked about at the beginning, and we will see you in the next video. Wow, you made it all the way to the end of the video. I'm glad to see you here. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do. But I did leave you some videos over there you can check out as well. And above me, you can check out CoolStacks.com and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll have some more awesome videos in the future, and we will see you later.